Yo, what's up everybody, GCDAS here. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing one of the most highly rare sequels that lives up to its predecessor, Toy Story 2. Woody, Buzz, and the rest of the gang are back, but this time on a rescue mission. Woody is stolen from his home by a toy collector named Al McWiggin, played by one of my favorite actors, Wayne Knight, leaving Buzz Lightyear and the rest of the gang to try to rescue him. But when Woody discovers that he's actually a valuable collectible from a once popular television show called Woody's Roundup, he has reunited with his horse Bullseye, Jesse the Yodeling Cowgirl, played by Joan Cusack, who's the best screamer to be quite honest, and Stinky Pete the Prospector. I can see why he got his name, because he's gassy. But he's wonderfully played by Kelsey Grammer. But Woody doesn't want to leave, now does he? He too has to be back to his friends and his beloved owner, Andy, and be back home. Now the animation has maxed up to what a sequel should look like. And also, do you know what's awesome about this movie? It's the most original sequel ever to be put in cinemas. You don't need character introductions. Since the first movie, it became a box office success. And of course, everyone knows the characters pretty darn well back in 1995, three years before I was born, that is. Also, the acting, especially Joan Cusack's character, was mind-blowing. And the character development and articulation was the most impressive thing I've ever seen before. Surprisingly, Woody is a collectible cowboy doll who's been in a 50s show for a long time and felt like he was a star for a little while. But if you haven't seen it, then no spoiler on that one for you. Anyways, the way they did to this movie, I loved everything about it. Also the cinematography. Why did I even forget about it? It's just so embarrassing. Anywho, it looks fantastic. Like the scene in the beginning where Buzz is plummeting down and zooming into Zerg's territory was pretty sweet. But my only gripe is that one joke that actually fell flat. It's somewhere, you'll find it. But other than that, in the end, it was the best sequel ever in film history. It was fun, fast-paced, emotional, and action-packed. So as a result, I rate Toy Story 2 5 out of 5 stars. Trust me. I enjoyed it as a kid and I still enjoyed it recently. You'll love it just like I did. Hope Toy Story 3 lives up to the same standard as the other two. So Toy Story 2, have you seen it? If you haven't, then watch the first one to start your adventure. But if you have, come back and let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Also, if you like this video and you want to see some more, do so to smash that like button below. That will help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. That's a very good way to show support for that review. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.